Hey everyone, this is Aaron, and today I'm gonna show you how to hook up all of the equipment that we shipped you in the mail. So before we get started, I got just a couple of things I wanna mention. Uh, first, all of the packaging material that we received, the boxes, the bubble wrap, anything like that, go ahead and hold on to everything because in the event that something's damaged or it gets damaged in the future, uh, you're gonna need that when you ship it back to us and we send out a replacement. Second, uh, we've made it a little bit easier. All of the connections that on the equipment you have should be color-coded. So, for example, green matches to green, blue matches to blue, etc. Uh, so make it just a, a little bit easier for you. Third, at any point in the video, you'll probably need to do this multiple times. Just go ahead and pause it at any point so that you can duplicate exactly what I'm doing each step of the way. Uh, and finally, we have two sets of instructions and I'm gonna walk you through each step on each of those and I'm just gonna pause the video and turn it towards the table where we're gonna do all the work and I'll explain a little bit more here in just a second okay okay so regarding the two types of instructions um, each of you with your equipment you're gonna receive several pieces of paperwork um, the one that we're gonna be looking at today is gonna to be just a picture like this that shows you where each piece of equipment connects to on the back of your computer. Um, now there's, they look identical, there's just one difference. The one I'm gonna go through first, you'll notice this monitor is the same on each of them. On this set of instructions you have, it's called a display port cable. Uh, so you just have one cable that goes from the computer to the monitor. The alternate set of instructions instead of having that display port cable has an adapter piece which goes from the computer and then connects to a VGA cable is what it's called and that VGA cable is what connects to the monitor. Um, the reason that there's two sets of instructions is we have multiple types of monitors and many of them have the display port cable but if they don't you'll need that adapter piece on that other set of instructions. So if your monitors do not have the display port cable which you'll find out soon enough uh, just wait till the end of the video and I'll just show you that slight difference and walk you through that. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, here's the computer that each of you are going to be receiving. Um, it's a small mini form factor computer but it is a computer nonetheless. Uh, all the inputs are on the back and then there's a couple USBs on the front. And just for instructional purposes on the video, I do have another computer that has all of the color coding put on it. So I'll be using that to show you as we connect each piece of equipment today. So starting out, you want to get your computer on your desktop or kitchen table if you're going to be working from there. Uh, let's go with a couple of the easier pieces first. Uh, first we'll go ahead and we'll hook up the mouse. So the mouse is just a standard USB cable um, and it's identified by the color green. So if you look on your computer, you have a couple of USB ports on the front. You have two on the front and you have three on the back. One, two, three. I prefer to use the inputs on the back just because it has a little bit more of a clean setup so you don't have wires hanging out of the front of your computer. If you want to use the front ones, you know, Go right ahead, that's that's your choice. So we'll go ahead and we'll hook up the mouse. All right, and we're done. Next, let's go ahead and get the keyboard. Again, just a standard USB keyboard. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll hook that up to one of the other ports. And just a, a simple tip, you'll notice these USB connectors, they have one end, let's see if I can get it here in view. There's one end, anyways, it's not the greatest view, but one end is solid and one end is kind of open. The open ends always go towards the top, so you don't have to worry about flipping it this way then flipping it that way. Just put the open end at the top. Right, so let's get that hooked up. There we go. So now we have a mouse. And we have a keyboard. Next, 
let's get one of the monitors hooked up now. The first monitor we'll do is going to be the same for everybody regardless of your instructions. So, again, you may have a different make and model of monitor, uh, but for this video we're going to use one of the HP monitors. So we'll just set that down. And for the first monitor, we're going to follow the instructions for this monitor right here. It's the same for everybody. So it's just a VGA cable that connects to the computer and then to the back of the monitor and then a power cable for the monitor. So when you're hooking up a VGA cable, there's one thing to keep in mind and that is that the connector is it's, you're not able to put it in this way or this way. It only goes one way. So the VGA connection is slightly shorter on the bottom side than it is on the top. So you want to find the shorter side of the cable, which is right here, and go ahead and plug that in. And it, you just kind of give it a little push. It's a little bit snug, and you'll feel it. It goes in nice and smooth. And then once it's in, you want to make sure that you screw in each side right here and right here of the cable so that it has a nice solid connection. If you don't do that, you're gonna get you know, potentially a blurry image on your computer or it might cut in and out or you might have different colored lines going through it. So you wanna make sure that each end is screwed in nice and tight. So let's do that. There. And give it a little tug, you know, you know it's a nice and tight connection. We'll just leave the other end right here for just a moment. Now, the easiest way to get these connections in on this monitor and a lot of ours is to just flip the monitor upside down. Um, that way you have easy access and you can see what you're doing. So because we're going to flip it upside down, I'm going to grab the power cable because it needs both the input cable from the computer to the monitor and it also needs power running from the monitor to the power strip. So I'm going to grab the power cable. And it's just a standard power cable. So the end that plugs into the computer will be indicated with the, the red uh, sticker. And you see it's just a standard computer power cable. The other end that plugs into the power outlet is right here. So let's go ahead and get this next to the other cable. Let's go ahead and flip this monitor upside down. There we go. Now, the VGA you'll see on the back of the monitor is uh, you'll see your blue sticker there, and also the, the actual VGA input itself has a, you know, a blue coating on it, so it's, it's pretty easy to identify. Just got to make sure that your cable's oriented the same way. Then push it in. And you secure both sides. Make sure they're nice and tight. Okay, there we go. And then let's go ahead and plug in the power, and you'll see the power is indicated by the red. Now, depending on your monitor, the power and the inputs might be on different sides, but you just find you, know, you just find the right port. You know, you can use the color coding, or just looking at the ports themselves. Uh, and again, this does not go in either way; it only goes in one way. So you want to find, uh, based on you know the the look of the of the power port, which which way this fits. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Just push it in, make sure it's nice and tight. And that's all there is to it. Now let's go ahead and stand this up. There we go. And we want to keep things nice and clean as we go. So let's go ahead and just move that cable around to the back. And the same with the power cable. Let's, let's make sure that's just out of the way in the back. We'll just set it over here at the other end for now. All right, now let's get the second monitor connected. Okay, now with the second monitor, uh, we're going to basically follow the same process as far as hooking up two cables. The only difference is we used a VGA cable, so with the blue screws on it, on this one. Now on the second one, we're going to use a display port cable. Now here's your display port cable. It looks 
kind of like an HDMI cable, except for there's a notch only on only on one side of it. So it only fits in one way. Uh, in the event you ever need to remove that display cable, if you look, there's a little button on the top. You just got to push that in before you pull it out because it, it, it locks itself in there once you connect it. So on the back of the computer, on the back of the computer, you're going to see indicated, see white on white is where the display port cable is and it only fits in one way and I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you this quick. You should be able to hear a little click once it goes in like that. It's subtle but it's there. So just make sure you hear that click when you put it in the back of your computer. And again, like the first monitor, we'll go ahead and grab the power cable that goes with it. So the power cable, again, has the one red end and then the other end that will go into your power strip. So let's get this monitor flipped upside down and plug both connections in there. Now on this monitor, the display port cable is right here. So we'll go ahead, make sure that we have it going in the right direction and we'll just listen for that little click. There we go. There. Okay, so now you see you give it a little tug and you know it's secure. And then let's get the power cable connected. Again, just make sure that is facing the right direction. Like give that a nice push, make sure it's nice and snug. Now we can flip this over. There we go. Let's move both these cables to the back. Like so. Power cable. Okay. So that's finished. Now let's get the power cable hooked up for the computer. Uh, let me grab that quick. Now with these mini computers we send out, there's actually two different power connectors. Um, they are essentially the same, but some of you are going to have a round tip on the end like this right here. With it. It's, it's going to be yellow on the end and it's going to be round. Some of you may have one that's uh, rectangular like this, but either way, it's essentially the same, and, and, the, and the location on the back of the computer is at the same spot. So you'll see the power cable is indicated with the red, or the, excuse me, the orange sticker. Um, on the back of the computer, you'll see there's the orange sticker. So let's go ahead and get that plugged in. Okay, now if you follow the cable, what you're going to find is you'll, you'll see that there's a power brick in the middle of it. Um, and this power brick, it does disconnect. So the, the power cable is technically two pieces. So you want to make sure that it's nice and snug. Get it pushed in there nice and tight, as tight as you can get it, just to make sure that there's not going to be any sort of a fault there. And let's move this to the back. There we go. I'll set this right there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and power on the computer and both monitors. Uh, you should have all three of your power cables. Now we don't provide your surge protector, but uh, you'll want to have a surge protector. It keeps your equipment safe. It, you know that way you don't have to run it to multiple outlets or anything like that. Uh, so you'll have your surge protector here. Let's go ahead and plug in one monitor, the other monitor and your computer. All right, so now all three of these devices all have the power that they need. And there's only one step left to getting everything finished off here. The last part, now this, this is just a spare router that I have at home, but each of you will have your own router. Typically you're gonna rent it from your internet provider. Um, some of you may have purchased your own at some point, but you'll need to run a cable from your router to our computer. 
Um, so you'll need to have your router available, and then you'll also need an Ethernet cable. It's just a standard internet cable. It's called an Ethernet cable or a Cat5 cable. Um, you can pick them up at any electronic store if you don't have one. But you're going to plug it into the back of your router. Now, some routers are going to have, pretty much every router is going to have four ports on the back for you to use. Some of them are going to have an additional port. Um, if there's a, one port that's colored differently, just simply don't use it. Uh, use only the ports that are labeled one through four. Uh, go ahead and just plug in your ether ethernet cable into one side of that. And again, you'll hear that click too. There we go. And then the other end will go right into the back of your computer. Let me show you here. So we've labeled that one with, with purple. Um, it's pretty easy to identify. And, and one thing, just in case there's any sort of troubleshooting you ever need, once you plug it in, there's two little lights. There's one in this corner, and there's one in this corner that light up once you have internet running into it. So once you plug the cable in, you should see those light up, and that way you know that there is a connection between your computer and your router. So let's get that plugged in. Okay, and there you have it. That's the full setup of all the equipment you've received from us. Um, for those of you who do not have the display port input into your monitors, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna quick disconnect the second monitor and we'll go through that. For everybody else, if you've completed this setup, all you need to do now is power your devices on and go through the how to log into your computer instructions, which you've also received with your equipment. Okay, so for those of you that have the instructions that require a adapter piece, let's go ahead and go through that real quick. So essentially all we're going to be doing is instead of running this display cable straight from here to the monitor, we're going to run it into this little adapter piece. It looks just kind of like this. And it's also indicated with the blue on one side and the white on the other. So let, let's go ahead and do that quick. I've, I've already disconnected the VGA from, or the display port from here. So to start things off, what you're going to want to do is, on the adapter on one side you have your standard VGA connection. So we're going to take your standard VGA cable, which you have another of, and we'll, we'll go ahead and make that connection. Both sides screwed in nice and tight, like so. All right, so once we have that, we'll go ahead and we'll plug in the display port side to the back of the computer. So you just match up the white to the white. And make sure you hear that click once you plug it in to make sure that it gets a solid connection. There we go. Let's run that back here. And then let's go ahead and flip this monitor around again. Now I didn't disconnect the power cable, so if, if you don't have the power cable hooked up already, go ahead and connect the power cable right now. And then we'll just find that VGA connection on the back of this monitor. Make sure your cable is facing the right direction. Go ahead and push it down. And we'll screw both of these ends in nice and tight. Okay. Give a little tug, make sure it doesn't move at all. And you're set. Okay, and now you are also ready to power on your equipment and just go through the login directions that you received with your computer. Um, so just make sure to follow each step of those instructions and you should be good to go. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Bye.